Good day guys, Austin here, and in this one today, we're playing a little bit of Skate 3. Now, we're obviously using the RPCS3 emulator, it emulates the PlayStation 3, and to be honest, for certain titles, it does it very well. It's still a days in the emulator's progress, but it has been moving leaps and bounds. I'm going to show you some gameplay, or at least I'm going to be testing Skate 3 to see if well, what it's up to, how the newest build is performing, and to see if we've got any progress at all. So you guys know exactly where this is up to. I'm utilizing my Xbox One S pad, and my specs are in the description down below. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. Okay, so here we are. We're inside Skate 3. I've just booted it up and cutscenes and all that kind of stuff are working perfectly. I will say before we start getting into the game testing that I am running this at 1080p on my monitor. However, the internal resolution is spiked all the way up to 2160. But running this internally at 4k which is pretty damn awesome i will say that this emulator has come on leaps and bounds with that kind of stuff in fact if you've got any kind of pretty much mid-range gpu then you should be good to go with internal resolutions all the way up to 4k to be honest it hardly makes any impact on your system whatsoever i won't say that that is true for everybody and it depends especially if you've got nvidia driver issues all that kind of stuff I'll cover this in a later video when I go through tutorial. Uh, I'll put links to the website for all FAQs regards to all that kind of stuff. But for now, let's get stuck into the game. Let's see how this is performing. Okay, so let's boot it up. And by the way, guys, while I'm playing this, do not judge how good I am at playing this game. I am terry bad at Skate 3. I think it's a beautiful game. I mean, look at it. It looks absolutely gorgeous. The... Uh, the problem is, it's n not playing as well. I can't play it as well as it looks. <laughs> and with the internal resolution pushed all the way to the maximum, yeah, yeah, it looks gorgeous. Uh, we will encounter more than likely some uh, stuttering from time to time. That's more to do with the shader cache rather than my actual gameplay. Um, the game itself, as you can see, it runs well, visually pretty well. Unfortunately though, in certain areas, um, the frame rate in the top left hand corner you can see frames per second it should be running at 60 frames per second and I would say in most areas for the majority of the time it does go into the high 50s 60s but in certain locations it does suffer I was about some kick flicks as well while I'm doing this yeah boy so yeah I will say that in certain locations though it does suffer quite a lot. In fact, bringing it all the way down to below 20 frames per second. Oh, here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load up a certain area. Let's have a look at... Where's a place with a mega park thing? Is it here? No. University? Yeah, there we go. Super Ultra Mega Park. When I was a kid, if I had a park called Super Ultra Mega Park, I would live there. I literally would live there every day. Okay, so let's see how this puppy is performing. I know in certain locations, especially around there, it is quite taxing. Although I say that, there we go. I think it's actually the trees that it doesn't like. Because if you see, when I'm going around there, there's no trees. Well, there is. I say that. There's some right in the background. So no, it's not the trees. There's quite a lot of stuttering going on. Again, this is down to the shader cache. So basically, if for those of you uh, are up to speed on it, when you play through the game, it basically stores the shaders, as you would say, the assets of the game uh, inside the actual profile of the game, which means that the next time you play it, you won't get any stutterings and it's a lot more smoother. So the first time you load it up and it stores all them caches, then you will get stutters from time to time. Some games get away with it completely. This one isn't too bad, to be honest. Once you get past the initial startup, I have got some from previous tests in the past, so we shouldn't see too much of it. But if it does stutter, it's likely that. Well, I can see one issue straight away, which is the uh, the shadow. 
Now, in the past, I've noticed that most shadows seem to work. However, in some locations, in some areas, the shadows are actually uh, not matching. For example, this sign's got a shadow. It's there. It's proper. Nothing changes it. However, over here, there's another shadow obviously being cast over. And it seems to be reactive to the, how I'm looking at it. Crazy. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get into some interesting gameplay. Well watching me play this badly I would presume. So let's get on to the bottom and see how we can test these kind of frame rates. Okay. So so far we are hitting probably an average of 30 frames per second. If I get into the 60s now, as it seems to be when I look down the side. Whoa! <laughs> so there we go. That is my limit of my skills. <laughs> Not very good. There we go. So let's get into the bottom down here and let's see how we are looking. So it seems to be round here where the frame rate was looking bad. Maybe it was the view distance? I don't know. Let's have a mooch round anyway. Let's see where we can push this to. God, I'm so bad at this game. It's a lovely game though, guys. If you haven't played this, I would pick up a copy because, well, if you can put up with mastering it, when you do master it, oh my God, does it look gorgeous? And it's actually pretty addictive if you've got the time to put into it. As you can see, I've got no time, so I have not. Let's see if we can get some big flips in the go. Right. Let's head down here. So, round about here, I am seeing huge lag drops there. 20 in the 20s. Not good. Not ideal at all. Let's go down this ramp. Ah, oh, nearly nailed it. <laughs> God, I'm bad at this game. I'll tell you what, let's go on a mooch. I have enabled the other skaters as well, by the way, guys. In the options menu, you can uh, disable that. Oh, I'm nailing a few tricks now, though. Oh my god. I can't even skate normally, never mind tricks. Let's see if we can get some height. Pull off some gnarly stunts, as they say, on the park. On the super mega park. Got a few grabs in. Yeah, boy! <laughs> and a loop de loop. Right, let's go into the next location. So, so far, it is bearable, as you can see. It is playable. There is some locations which are really bringing the frame rate down to uh, kind of spoil the experience, I would say. If we can get the frame rate up on this, then we would be absolutely nailing this. I mean, look at this. The, the graphics on this are exceptional. For PS3 era, beautiful game. Not like my gameplay, but the game itself is absolutely beautiful. Right. So we've checked out this location. There is a part in the game where it did... Uh, how would you say? Uh, it wouldn't crash, but you couldn't progress any further. So I want to test that out to see if that's been fixed as of yet. So how do we get into there now? It's not this bit. Is it challenge map? Yeah, it is. And I believe it's the photo one. There we go. First TSM photo. Basically, I've already done a lot of the, how would you say, uh, challenges. Obviously, I'm in the challenge tab. And that obviously progresses you through your career. However, when you get up to this location here, as we're just going to load, um, you can do the trick. 
but it would just stall. Basically, it would get to the loading screen and it wouldn't progress any further. So I suppose you would call it a crash. Right, let's do this. <laughs> I say that and I can't even do a simple grind. Right. Let's nail this. Oh, I nailed it. I've completed the game. That's all you needed to do in this game. Nail a trick like that. Let's have a look. I like that one. It's got a pretty groovy stance. Continue. So this is the part now. Basically, it would ask you to make a new uh, player. So you can progress. There we go. Everything seems to work. Then you get to this bit here. And no matter what you choose, it seems to just lock up. Or at least it did do. Hopefully in this build, it will be uh, fixed. So it's asking me to input a name. So I'll do that. And then now, it just hangs in this location. Is it going to load? The loading screen is continuing. No. I think it's done exactly the same again. Ugh. Okay, so let's boot this back up and let me talk you through what exactly is going on here. Okay, so unfortunately, it looks like the the bug or the crash or the stall or whatever it is you would call that is still there, which isn't very ideal, I've got to say. But, you know, it is very early days in the development of this emulator, so we can't expect much. To be honest, I'm pretty surprised that it's running the way that it is, especially at this early date. The development team over there have worked wonders with this, and... Uh, yeah, it would be interesting to see where this goes in the future. I mean, hopefully the game compatibility especially will increase. I mean, there is a hell of a lot of games, especially considering what I would say about in the last six months, this has really blown up and many games are in fact 100% playable, including actually completing the game, enjoying it at a much better resolution, much better experience than what you would have in the past. But... Yeah, there is still games such as this, I would say major franchises on the PlayStation 3, which would make this an obvious choice. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's games such as Castlevania, um, classics on the PlayStation 3. But of course, many of them are available on different platforms, including, of course, Windows, where... Yeah, it's great to check out how the emulators are progressing and how the game is working. But in terms of actually using it as an emulator to, I don't know, enjoy games, then it's a little bit different. So console exclusives are pretty big for this one to really shine through. Um, Demon Souls, great franchise. I would say 100% working now. But on this one, still a bit to go. The sound issue seems to have been cleaned up a lot on this build. So I would say hats off for that one. Uh, there is still some graphic bugs with the lighting as we've seen on the skateboard park a second ago. And also there is that little crash. Now in terms of crashing other than that, I've not really had this game blow up in a long time. So yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's... Well, blow up. I mean, crashes in like I can't complete the game or I can't do anything. It's just not exited out, blue screened or anything. It's been pretty stable and it has been for, I'd say, about a month now. But in terms of utilizing this as a game you'd enjoy, yeah, there's big drops in frame rate. You know, we're getting into 20 frames per second in some locations. But is it playable? Yeah. Would I enjoy it? Yeah, I do enjoy it. It's a nice little game. But as of yet, it's still the definitive... Definitive? <laughs> the definitive version will be on the PlayStation 3 itself, unfortunately. Which means that, yep, it looks beautiful, pushed up to these resolutions, but it's just not stable enough to count this as a, a version of the game I would actually sit here and try to complete. 
Not that I ever would with these skills. I am so bad at this game. But anyway, guys, I've waffled on enough. I think we've covered this one. It's almost there. There's a few tweaks and all that good stuff to carry on with. Excuse again my terrible um, Skate 3 skills. But hopefully this has opened up a few more horizons, brought some attention to the emulator. And of course, for all of you, you know now that Skate 3 is working, but you ain't going to get very far in it. So it's been a pleasure as always. Please like, please subscribe, please do all the things that you would do in this wonderful world where sharks are in the middle of the shopping center, wherever this is. But most of all, most of all, you guys have a good day. Laters!